Hello, in the previous video I have introduced you to the ModBlazer, uh, a library which I believe it works and all that stuff. You can watch a pre previous video to see how to set it up and how to use icons, specifically icons with this ModBlazer. It, it does work, I uh, have tried it on real projects, so uh, it is something to be trusted if you are really interested in using third parties in Blazor. Now in this case I'm going to show you how to use charts. I have already done some other options in the past, such as charts, you can watch those videos, D3 as well. Uh, just some basic stuff to introduce that uh, and in this case I'm going to show you bar chart and uh, pie chart. You see right here we have uh, uh, four types of charts. I don't think you really need any more than that. So this is, uh, uh, this should be quite satisfying for most projects. Uh, obviously if it's not you can go with uh, chart.js. Yes. It's quite easy to implement. Uh, and you'll find some more advanced stuff and if you really want to go uh, very far advanced you can go with d3 all of those options do work i have tested and tried them uh, they are uh, good to go now this is um, kind of an interesting thing let's take a look at the example i kind of created uh, uh, it does work these charts do work so you see we have two types we have uh, uh, this uh, bar chart in the series See, like that, so basically all the colors and whatnot. And then we have series uh, one, two, and three. Uh, just three series and just some, uh, basically this is the default stuff. I just modified it a bit to show you a few uh, different things that you can actually achieve. And then in the bottom we have, uh, again, some basic default stuff, I guess, January, February, and March, and uh, three pieces to this whole thing. Now, if we go and look at the code, Right here, the blazer code, just in the index.razor, we have everything set up. We have uh, uh, the charts, uh, or rather the mod blazer thing set up. You can watch the previous video on, on how to do that. Or you can just go in, uh, into that documentation. It's quite clear, I believe. You just kind of have to uh, get a few bits about it. Uh, so right here, we have a mod chart. See, we have my chart. This is the first one, and this is chart type bar. So you see, we have chart type, uh, that custom property. Uh, this is a uh, uh, a parameter in that component, and this is my chart or my blazer rather. Uh, it's a library for blazer, blazer library. You can learn more about those things in my blazer course. Uh, or I have also a few videos uh, about this stuff and how to publish these in NuGet, uh, uh, quite a, a simple thing to do. But we also have chart series, okay? Now this is where the difference uh, uh, begins in different charts. You see, mod chart, and then you see the chart type. In this case, it's bar. In the second case, it is pi, okay? But in the first one, we have chart series and then we have x axis labels. In the second one, we have input data and input labels. So these uh, are the two different bits. Uh, we also have width and height. I'll get to that a bit later, but now let's see how it's implemented. Right? Basically, we have series, which is a list of uh, chart series. Chart series comes from chart series, which is a, a sort of specific um, mod blazer thing, right? It's specific to mod blazer, it's not some C-sharp thing. Uh, it is uh, uh, made for that, okay? So uh, we have name, we have data. If we, if we go in uh, further, we don't really see anything more, right? Uh, basically, that's all that you have to do for the chart series to happen. You have to have a name and you have to have the data. Now the data obviously is going to be an array of doubles, okay, an array of doubles. And if you want to make it work properly, each and every series have to match. Now you see we have 40, 13 and 13. I can actually go a bit deeper into that. Okay, 40, 13 and 13. Then we have 20, 28 and 4. This is what you look, uh, you should look at. You should look at uh, the columns rather than the row or the whole array like that. Because this is the group that will be displayed. 40, 13 and 13. Or this, the next group 
uh, will be 20, 28, and 4. So if we look at this piece of data, which kind of makes no sense, uh, uh, we have January, right? And for the January part, the January piece, uh, these four, three numbers will be displayed, 40, 13, and 13. Just like the other charts, uh, kind of a similar thing. And then if you go to each bar in the series, right? These will be the different series. Uh, it can be confusing at first, but if you try it a few times, it shouldn't be all that difficult. Now, obviously, we also have the labels, uh, which define each one of those clusters of bars. Uh, you can call it that, right? But the main thing you have to know here is that bar series will go into bar series like that, okay? Now, I would presume that in most cases, the labels would be predefined, but not necessarily, right? And in this case, I simply wrap it in an if statement to see that the bar series is not null. If it is null, what will likely happen, by default, you'll have these bar series as null, and then you'll retrieve the data from the API. So you'd need to have some kind of a loading mechanism. Now, if the uh, labels are predefined, then sure, leave it like that. But if they're not predefined, uh, you should also check for the labels not to be null. So you retrieve them, and once everything is retrieved, then you can display it. Only then you display it, otherwise you display some kind of a loading icon or just a piece of text that says loading. Now onto the uh, bar, uh, the bar series as I called it. Uh, actually, we have the bar series and then with pi, so I made a bit of a mistake. Uh, yeah, this is the pi data. I'm just gonna replace it so people don't pick on me for that. And we have pi data now. So we check for nulls. We always check for nulls in Blaze and we show that uh, uh, data is indeed loading. Now, as you can see, uh, for the pi data, it's a lot more simple. It's a lot more straightforward. Uh, we just have three numbers and then three labels for each piece of the pi. We have piece one, that will be 77. Then piece two will be 25, right here, 25 and then piece three will be 20. So they kind of correspond in the same order. The first item of the labels will correspond with the first item of the data, the double array, right? And so on. So you have to make sure that they do indeed correspond. Uh, with the charts uh, or rather the bars, uh, that is a bit more tricky, uh, but it is all quite doable. Now, Let's get to the design, sort of the design of it. Uh, it is actually responsive and it is not one of those nonsense responsive things like you might get with Chart.js or uh, D3.js. Uh, uh, this is actually, it does work quite well in my opinion. Uh, you just have to do the percentage of width and you put it in your container, which is a div most likely a div. Uh, so you put them in your divs and they will respond quite well. Uh, from what I've seen even in the more complex and more annoying layouts, they do actually work quite well. You have your predefined height and you have your uh, width. So it should work uh, quite well, this arrangement. Uh, now, do take a look at some of the uh, other chart options, uh, the JavaScript-based uh, chart options that I've talked about. I have all those videos. Uh, also, take a look at my Blazor course. Take a look at my Stripe in Blazor course. Uh, learn how to implement Stripe payments in Blazor in .NET APIs. Or if you need to learn about APIs, take a look at my .NET 5, .NET Core API developments. And you can also take a look at how you can publish the uh, .NET 5 APIs through the Azure, do all that testing stuff, run uh, the unit tests, set them up and all that stuff and execute them and publish them to the uh, IIS uh, manager. Do it all automatically, automate your public sharing. So do take a look at my courses, subscribe to this channel and support this channel on Patreon where you can also find uh, the uh, whole source code for my videos. Uh, and with that said, we will conclude this video.